What's up guys, Brandy from Brandy Steel Entertainment and in this video we are going to be talking about Divas down in NXT getting a push to the main roster. But anyways guys, let's hop right into this topic. So, what is going on with the Divas division in the main roster? Well, honestly, I really don't know. Um, I don't know if they're in between storylines or if they're just going to repeat storylines like they did in the past. You know, the whole Paige and Nikki Bella that, uh, that came back from the past and... You know, AJ Lee is gone. You know, we got, we have Naomi. You know, she was, uh, she was a fresh heel. You know, but I don't know what WWE did with her. You know, they just kind of put her under. You know, they kind of buried her. But I really don't know what's going on with Naomi at this moment. But um, you know, if she would have won the championship, that kind of, it would have been something fresh. You know, but we've been dealing with Nikki Bella being the champion ever since Survivor Series, Hell in a Cell. I really don't know. Forgive me. Um, it was one of those pay per views. It was either Survivor Series. TLC or uh, or Hell in a Cell. I really don't know which one, but we've been dealing with Nikki Bella for a very long time. You know that whole the whole thing, and they you know the the persona really gotten boring. You know for the Divas Division. Um, and what Triple H wanted to do is that he kind of wanted to bring the Divas Division back into its prime, like it was back in the day. You know, back in the day, where at one point Divas actually main evented Monday Night Raw. You know, at one point it was Lita versus Trish Stratus in the main event of Monday Night Raw. I'm talking about it was the last match on Monday Night Raw and the crowd was actually really into it and it was a pretty good match and you know they really want to do that to the Divas Division now because not a lot of people really look up to the Divas Division like they did back in the day now I'm not completely bashing the Divas Division but I'm just saying that they need something fresh they need something to catch the people's attention so what Triple H and Vince McMahon actually had an idea for was that they wanted kind of a four horsemen but for Divas so I guess it would be the four horsewomen I don't know don't 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 quote me on that name it was just me guessing but she he, he kind of wanted the four horsemen for women and those four divas were going to be charlotte sasha banks carmella and bailey either bailey or becky lynch now i absolutely wouldn't mind that you know um if carmella came along you know i really wouldn't know what that would do with enzo and you know that whole tag team situation because she is an escort for them um i really don't know what happened with that situation because i wouldn't mind if they get you know if they all get you know boosted up to the main roster but um if they completely drop you know enzo and the tag team i really would i i feel like i would be a little disappointed but you know if it kind of boosts up the divas roster or the diva storyline i absolutely wouldn't mind you know because you you remember the nexus um the nexus back in the day i believe it was in 2009 or 2010 one of those years but, uh, you know, the Nexus came along, took out John Cena, completely messed up the whole entire arena. Now, I'm not saying that the Divas should do that, but I'm saying that the Divas should do that with, you know, with Nikki Bella. Or, you know, do that with the Divas in the main roster, you know. Have an NXT Divas roster versus, you know, WWE main roster Divas, you know, something like that. You know, that would be a pretty cool SummerSlam match, you know, the future versus the present. But for the Divas, now, I absolutely wouldn't mind that because I think that that would bring the attention back to the Divas to the point where, you know, they would actually be wrestling for more than 10 minutes and not, and you know, have a commercial break in between, you know. But not a lot of, uh, you know, WWE Divas matches are really that intriguing at this moment because it's just repeating storylines over and over and over again, you know, not counting the whole Lana and Summer Rae storyline because apparently they're going to be having a match and Lana is actually training at the Performance Center, but that's going to be, you know, something a little bit more different, but, you know, not counting Nikki Bella and, you know, Brie Bella and all those other mainstream divas in the main roster, it would absolutely spark things up if, you know, the Four Horsemen came along, but for divas, you know, I really wouldn't mind that, you know, seeing Charlotte, Bailey, Carmella, or, uh, or Becky Lynch and Sasha Banks, you know, I really wouldn't mind seeing all of all of them heal, you know, just taking on the Divas on the Divas roster, but I really wouldn't mind that, and if Vince McMahon and Triple H actually go through with this, and if this is a real life thing, I absolutely cannot wait, and I think that this is going to grasp a lot of attentions from a lot of WWE fans, and probably a majority of the WWE universe, I really wouldn't mind seeing the Divas division, you know, back in its prime like it was back in the day, but we're just gonna have to see where this goes, but that's definitely on my wish list to see at SummerSlam. The present versus the future. NXT Divas versus WWE main roster Divas, but we're just gonna have to see. But anyways, guys, that's all I have. So thank you for stopping by the top daily WWE place to be. I really do appreciate you for watching this video. Plus, if you're new around here, why not hit that subscribe button? Because I do upload WWE content on the daily. But anyways, guys, I will talk to you later.